Hello everybody. In the last tutorial of Excel BBA and macros, we learned how to create a macro, how to record a macro, how to edit the macro in Visual Basic Editor, how to run the macro in different worksheets, and finally how to save a macro enabled workbook. If you haven't watched the previous tutorial, then there is a link above. You can go and check that out. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create Excel VBA modules, VBA procedures, and we will understand what are macro codes. Three things we will be focusing modules, procedures, and macros. We will also write our own code, a simple code, so that we can visualize how the programming or say coding works in Excel. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we should understand before starting any kind of coding is Visual Basic application window. If you remember our previous tutorial, there are two different ways of opening Visual Basic editor. First is through the developer option. We go to the developer option and in the left corner, here is Visual Basic. Or we can promptly click Alt and F11 and we are directed to the Visual Basic window. So this is Visual Basic window. We have VBA project menu, properties menu and whole area of Visual Basic editor. The editor area is blank because we do not have any executable code at the moment or say we do not have any modules here. So what is a module? Module is a space where all our macros are stored. So we can say it is a storage area which is displayed in the project window. Before we write any macro, first we need to create a module. If you have recorded a macro, then a module is automatically created for you. But if you want to write your own code from scratch, then you need to create a module. To create a module, we simply go to the insert option and to the module and a module one is created here and the project window or say the code window is displayed in white color. If you look at this big white area, actually this is our module and this is exactly where all our codes will lie. So this is step one, creating a module. Go to insert, go to module. Another key concept that we are going to learn in this tutorial is creating a procedure. Now we have got our module, now we start entering our code. But before writing our code in the module, we need to create a procedure. Procedure is simply the macro which makes the BBA understand that now we are going to enter our own code. Now the thing to be noted is we can have multiple procedures in a single module. For example, we can use procedure A to generate sum of random data and we can use procedure B to generate a VLOOKUP function or say if logical statement. To create a new procedure, we again go to the insert option and here we have procedure and we are directed into this new window. First thing here we have is procedure name. Because a procedure is a macro, if you remember our last tutorial, we cannot have a space between the macro name and we cannot start our macro name with a number. Same with the procedure name. Let's say this is procedure A. In the type option here, we have sub function and property. Sub is a simple procedure which executes a given sets of code step by step. For example, in step 1, it can type a certain text in the given cell and in step 2, it can make the letter bolds and in step 3, it can delete or move or copy the given text. So one code at a time, it finishes one code and jumps to another code. So this is sub type. In the function, it does calculation and returns the value to the user. You give a set of formula and it automatically renders you the result. The sum, uh, average, lookup, these all are function type. Property is something more advanced and is used in nested or looped function. Uh, it can assign an unique property to a given set of condition. Now next here is scope. This deals with where our procedure is going to be available. If we choose public, then our particular procedure shall be available to each and every module. And if we keep it private, then the procedure shall be just used by the current module. Now we can click OK and we can see we have two lines of codes here. The first line is the beginning of our code, which shows that we are going to write a code. And the second line is the end of the code, which makes PV understand that we are going to close our code now. And every code that we are going to write will be in between these two lines. So go to insert procedure, give it a name and we are good to go. Now we have got our module, we have got our procedure, let's try adding some codes. We will start by a basic code and we will be advancing the code more and more in our next tutorials. Let's just create a simple code that will first uh, enter a text to our cell and again bolts the given text. So let's begin. Let's just create this window side by side to our Excel sheet. What I want to do is I want to enter a value or text in any of the cell or let's say active cell in the given workbook. By the term active cell, I mean that particular cell which I have selected currently. 
right now c2 is my active cell so inside my procedure i am going to use a keyword called active cell so let's type active cell now what this key does is it relates the current cell that we have selected the current cell that we have selected in the excel workbook is c2 now by the code active cell it references the current cell that we have selected in the given workbook now we are going to command the vba to do specific work that we have to do with our active cell we may have to select it or we have to give a certain value to it or we have to offset it what we have to do uh, let's just give a value to the cell to assign any command to the excel vba we have to start with a dot and once we hit dot then there are a list of commands that we can execute there are add comments address address local and so many commands that we can select we just want the command value to be selected we have value here double click the value and we want the value of active cell to be changed into some specific text so we hit equal to so let's say our active cell value needs to be changed to uh, nepal so now if we are entering text as our value we need to close it by a quotation mark but if our value is the number then we need not close it now you can see we have completed our procedure there is a beginning a body and a conclusion or say ending to the code so now we want to run our code there are several ways of running a macro we can go to the view option and in the view option we have macros and in the macros option we have view macros and here you can see this is procedure a this is the macro that we have just created in the visual basic editor we can directly hit run and as you can see our text is displayed over here that we have just entered in the visual basic editor uh, we can select our current active cell as f6 let's say and again we can go to the visual basic editor and we can directly run it from this run sub user form option run it then as you can see the text is displayed over here so let's change our active cell value uh, to d8 let's say and we go to the visual basic editor we can enter next command let's uh, say we want to enter our text here and we want to bold it to do so again we can select active cell active cell dot then we can have a list of codes over here we want to bold it that means our function is the font command we will search for the font here we have font here double click this and if we again enter our dot then we can see a list of commands and that we can execute for the font option we can change this background we can bold it we can color it with specific color we can change this font style we can give it italics uh, change its size uh, underline uh, so many options we just want to bold it dot bold and again we have equal to option now we want to specify that this statement over here is true okay now our code is complete now again if we want to run this code we go to this run sub user form or we can hit f5 run it you can see first a text is entered then automatically the text is bold so in this way we can create a list of codes in our procedures so this was just a simple understanding of our bba excel code so in the next tutorial we will be advancing our codes to higher level uh, we will be understanding what variables are we will be understanding about uh, if logical statement and we will be understanding different operations in the excel bv option we'll also be learning how to run a loop function in excel and so many projects so if you will be watching this tutorial to the end then you will have a comprehensive knowledge on excel bv and macros so see you in the next tutorial